How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk today about a stock that ARK Invest just bought. They just released the information that they bought it. The stock went up 12% on the news of this, and it's an interesting stock. It's been getting a lot more publicity, and it has a very high potential. I am currently looking into it. If I buy it, it will be more of a long-term hold for me than what I'm doing with some of my other stocks. I mean, I wasn't even planning on doing this video. I'll be honest. I was getting done with the workout. There are two big, there are two big pieces of information I want to cover. One was the video that I just posted a very short while ago. It was C H E K stock, a penny stock that we bought this afternoon. It's up 83% since we bought it. Uh, I wanted to hit on whether I was buying or selling that, and you know we've been lucky on a lot of, or we've been able to pick out a lot of penny stocks recently, and. Honestly, this is not the best for my channel, I'll be honest, uh, to post uh, so many videos back to back to back, but I wanted to cover this for you so you guys got the information as soon as possible so you can do research overnight, even if it sends the stock price up in the morning. I think you should know about this one because, again, ARK holds a lot of weight. If you don't know what ARK Invest is, they're one of the most innovative, disruptive funds out there. They are making huge gains, and pretty much whenever they buy a stock, it jumps up because people hear about it. I'd say behind Warren Buffett, they're, they're probably one of the most well-known funds at this point and definitely one of the hottest funds. So we'll talk about the company that they bought. Again, it moved up 12% after they announced and it's not like it leveled off. It was still going up, but then the bell finished or the, the aftermarket hours finished. I really considered buying it, but I did not because I need to do more research on it. Uh, I'll get into what the company does, why ARK might be buying it, how much they bought. And if you guys want this information a little bit earlier, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. Like I said, we're up about 400% in BNGO. We're up a lot in the company that we just bought, CHEK. We're up 83% in part of a day. We made a swing trade on another penny stock last week. We're also up 10% just on the uh, stock, the SPAC stock that I talked about earlier today. So if you guys want to get the information a little bit earlier there, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. Also, if you want to trade after market hours, you can check out the link down below to Weeble. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and the subscribe button, I really appreciate that too. So the company that we're looking at today is Skills, a company that has been pretty covered on on uh, YouTube recently, and it actually saw a pretty big drop during the market today. It dropped about 9% during market hours, and then as soon as it came out that ARK Invest bought it, it went up 12%. Now, just looking at the company, and then we'll take a look at what ARK has been doing. Flying Eagle was a company, was a SPAC company that merged with it. Now, it is under the ticker SKLZ, so this is already completed, they enable these types of multi-million dollar franchises uh, to enable social competition in their games. So they're allowing e-sports gaming or e-sports gaming to expand, and they're they're looking at monetizing these types of tournaments, and they're able to bring people, millions of people worldwide, into these games. Now, again, I need to do more research on it, but I want to give what I've learned about it, or part of what I've learned, I don't want to make this a very long video, uh, I want to give part of that to you now. Now, just looking at the company, honestly, this is part of their investor page, and this was really frustrating to me at first, because I had done some preliminary research, I kind of wrote off the company a little bit, I mean, I... I saw the potential, but there are just other stocks going on. I mean, take a look at the ones that we talked about earlier. They've all been blowing up. But uh, this company has a really outdated page where it takes second, like 10 or 20 seconds for it to load some of these slides here. Uh, it wouldn't let me download it. So it's kind of frustrating, but when you get to it, you can see they've been growing revenues at a very quick rate. Uh, from 17 million in 2017 to 51 million in 2018, 120 to 25, and you can start to see it level off a little bit, but it's still growing very quickly. We're still talking about, you know, next year looking at maybe a 60% increase or something like that, 50 to 60% increase in revenue. And I think typically they make these a little bit lower so that they can beat estimates. Now, uh, again, this is not the most in-depth video on skills out there. There are definitely people that you can take a look at. I think Dead Inside has been doing videos on skills for months, but I wanted to give you guys this video because ARK just bought this tonight. So ARK just came out about an hour ago from the time of this recording and showed that they were 
buying 216,000 shares of this and about $4 million of the company. Now, this is a very small amount. It's in ARK W, uh, one, of their gen one of their ETFs. It's their generational or generation internet ETF. We have other companies from varying industries in here. We have a lot of disruptive companies, but they're in all different kinds of uh, different kinds of sectors in here. But usually, when they are buying these companies, they buy a small amount at front up front, and then they add to them over time. I would not be I would not be surprised if they start to add more and more money to this holding. And you can see the weight that they hold. Uh, just with retail investors, this is. I'm guessing all retail investors that are buying this because I don't think institutional investors are necessarily waiting for for ARK Invest to buy these companies. But we were able to move up the market cap from right around $6 billion up to about $6.7 billion, added about 12% uh, percent to the market cap. I would not be surprised if it jumped up pre-market tomorrow. I would not be surprised if it kept on going up through the market. Now, I'm not buying it personally because I... I still feel like I need to do some more research. Now that might change from the time that I shoot this video to the time that I release it. I don't know whether I'm releasing it tomorrow or today, but uh, I might be buying tomorrow. If you guys want to know whether I'm buying and how much, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. But let me know if you guys want me to do some more research on this company, give you guys some more info, kind of cover it a little bit more in depth. Like I said, uh, I've had a lot of stuff going just with some other stocks and it's been it's been a lot to cover. I mean, this is now my fifth video of the day uh, and I did two live streams also. And then I have comments to respond to in Patreon and the Discord and then uh, tons of stuff going on. So I will definitely update this if you guys want. Let me know in the comments below. This seems like one that has a really a bright future in front of it, especially because the e-gaming industry is supposed to explode. I mean, even just looking at esports in general. Uh, I believe it's going to grow a significant amount. Let's take a look. They expect it to grow about uh, to over $950 million um, this year, but they're expecting it will reach about $1.6 billion by 2023. So, I mean, that's like a 20% growth rate or something like that. Again, very quickly growing industry. And this company can really capitalize on that. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think about skills down below. Again, if you want the Patreon link or if you want the link to Weeble that's down there, thank you for hitting the like button. And if you want to see the video that I did on CHEK and whether it's too late to buy this one, it went up like 300% or something like that between the market hours and the post market hours. Or if you want to see that bigger company that went up 10% after we talked about it earlier today, it's a SPAC with very limited downside even now. I would definitely check that out down here. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it and I'll see you in one of these videos. Bye.